All right, you guys, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today I wanted to very quickly show you guys the differences in form that we talked about very recently. And I was saying in those videos that you have two options, right? We can do things like summer pruning or tipping. And instead of letting our fig trees grow from a, a single stem whip, which is one shoot, we can then top them at the appropriate height that we desire and allow them to actually branch out. And if we allow them to branch out, my argument is we can achieve the form that we desire a lot quicker. Not only that, but the second season, so if this is the first season that we grow it out as a single stem whip, that second season, if we do the summer pruning, the topping to, a, to get more of those apical and lateral buds, we're gonna have a much more successful second season in terms of earlier fruit set, more fruit set and ease of fruit set and this all relates to then fruit quality and so these are examples here these are three trees that i did the summer pruning on this this season and we showed you guys examples actually of that here though is the you know what is going to happen next year so if we're going to top this like i am this winter right it's just too tall this is a malta black tree and so I did end up topping it, but I wanted it to fruit. And so on this, this wood up here, I thought, well, if it just keeps growing, I should get the fruit buds. I saw the fruit buds uh, a little bit too late. And so I wanted to see it fruit and I ended up topping it. And actually, believe it or not, it didn't fruit. This tree just was in a lot of shade this season. And so it did end up actually putting out some nice apical buds here. You can see they're really thick. And then also up here, there's some nice new growth that form. So we have multiple, in a way, multiple apical buds, but the tree is too large, it's too tall. And so for my storage area behind me here, this sunroom, this area I have below the sunroom, it's just too tall for that, that area. So if I wanna properly store this fig tree, I have to bring the height back quite a bit and then form those scaffolds. Because if we're forming the scaffolds up here, which is really at five feet, it's just gonna be a very tall tree. It's gonna be very hard to manage. This tree over here, as an example, we formed the scaffolds at about two and a half or three feet. And now the tree is actually, has all the branching it needs actually at a lower height than even this single stem whip, if you can believe it. So we need to top it at a lower height. And that's something I have to do this, this winter time. I can't just let it be the way it is. And so when I do this topping at about two and a half, two feet, three feet, somewhere around there, the following season, it's gonna form these scaffolds. It's gonna form these branches. And these two trees are very good examples of what happens when you do that. So I had these, both, both of these trees were single stem whips. You can see actually they're really vigorous, really healthy trees. And then at the end of that summer or the end of that year in the winter time, I topped them. And so by topping them here, and also topping it, I believe right here, we formed the new branches the next season. And this one here, this is a Coldadam gigantina. It formed uh, four new scaffolds, one of which had the most dominance, unfortunately, and it grew really quickly, but then it just kept growing. And now the tree, instead of having an open center is actually more of a, a central leader. From this central leader, it's actually formed two new branches here, which have good apical buds. Uh, and so in general, even this Verdino Giacomo tree I have here has a really nice form going into its third year. It, it really is beautiful. It's structurally very sound. I love the branching. If there is any problems with the branching, we can just very simply stake the branches. Even this central leader here, I could very easily stake this next season and open this up a bit more. And that's gonna really have a, a beautiful form. The problem is in that second year on this Coldidam Gagantina, I got zero fruit. The problem is with this Verdino Giacomo, I didn't get zero fruit because this one here looks like it's gonna ripen. At least this frost that we were coming up here will probably help speed up that ripening process. But the fruits didn't form until very late in the season. Because of that hormonal imbalance, we removed the apical and lateral buds and so we were instead working with buds from a much lower point that I have called them vegetative buds. It's just a lack for a better word, but 
really those buds from these these lower points here end up actually not fruiting very well the following season and so it really it comes down to like i said having these apical buds here intact having these in place and these lateral buds that are quite protruding you can see that there some of them are brabus this is a good example here where you can see that lateral bud and this lateral bud and this lateral bud they're going to form really good fruit set next year and so the more of those buds we have the better off we are uh, and so that's my argument is that now with these trees doing this in the summertime we're getting them to the desired height about two and a half three feet maybe even a foot and a half depending on the tree we're topping them you can see actually here's the scar on this tree where i topped it and then of course it forms the new branches on these new branches by the way this particular variety had some time to actually form some fruit this season and this is all in its first season now of course it wasn't going to fruit for me just because we don't have a long enough season here but the next season it's going to be beautiful because all i have to do is stake these branches away from each other we're going to form basically exactly what we have here we're just doing it a whole year sooner you know what i mean uh this tree here is really beautiful though i must admit this for Gino giacomo is because we have the main trunk that comes up and it branches out into five permanent scaffolds we even have one here in the center that i could bend over in this direction or leave it there in the center of the tree or maybe at some point in the future cut that out to get more light into the center but this is obviously very beautiful but these over here are going to be so much more functional at an earlier point and that we're going to see this fruit set and so i'll update you guys next season on this process um and so that's really the big difference we have all of these apical buds we have all these lateral buds all we have to do is actually stake these branches and it's not like by the way if we do the summer pruning we won't get the scaffolds like we have over there on that verdino giacomo because this tree here actually put out five scaffolds it really depends on how strongly rooted the tree is how vigorous it is uh, how much fruit set will form on the tree after you do the pinching so if there is a lot of fruit set along this branch when we remove this tip it's going to slow down that vigor and we want to actually you might even want to remove most of the fruits at that point um, here's another example here this is uh what tree is this this is pastelier and so the same thing this was like four inches at the beginning of this season um, and it grew all the way up to here topped it this is the scar and then it formed these two or three potential new scaffolds it's actually quite a tall tree and so this actually is not exactly what i want but was really trying to get fruit set this season on this one to see uh what the deal is with this particular source of fastelier this is a paradiso bronze from vs and then this is an unknown fig that grows rather well uh so yeah i think again the, the results are kind of clear in my mind um and it really just comes down to saving yourself time uh to achieve the form quicker and then of course getting the fruits to form uh, in a higher quantity earlier easier and having a higher fruit quality in that second year um, now as i'll say that this gigantina tree that we looked at and this verdino giacomo they're going to be loaded with fruit in their third year so it's not like you're you're totally missing out if you have to do this you have to do it like me i have a situation here with my malta black i have no choice but if i had the option again this is the method that i'm going to be going with going forward of getting these trees established quicker um and so i think everybody can do this it doesn't really matter where you live uh to me it just makes a whole lot more sense and anyway guys thank you for watching we'll see you soon all right thanks for uh for sticking through to the end hit that subscribe button and uh, check out our blog figboss.com we greatly appreciate it we'll see you guys for the next one take care